how many megawatts of power do this renewable energy contribute to the national grid? That's almost uh, 50 megawatts. 50 megawatts. Yes, 50 megawatts. That's the, that's the land. On land. On the land, solar, the solar. Land. Then with the, the, the water, the floating, plus five. It's also coming up with five, so making 55. As part of efforts to achieve net zero emissions by 2070, the Power Authority is transforming or transitioning to renewable energies by adding solar to its power generation. Today we are on site with the site engineer Maxwell Obin Amoa, who is going to tell us more about these renewable energies here on site. Come with me. You can see that we are on the renewable energy site and I have the site engineer Maxwell Obey. Obey Amoa. He's going to tell us all about what we need to know on this field. For this tech on Ghana World TV, my name is Ernestina Sewa Asante. Okay, thank you very much Ernestina. Okay, so tell us about your operations. Yes, we, we are carrying out routine maintenance okay. and under the routine maintenance when we come around, we check the lighting arrester system, we take the RI test, then we remove the arresters, we clean inside with the ventilated spirit, degreaser, to remove all any carbon, uh, carbon uh, particles around it. With carbon particles, it will tr trigger the this in the system from operation. Uh -huh. Then after that, we do test the underground cable to see whether it's within the strength, resistance strength. Uh -huh. Then we also check some of the breakers. We have the breakers, you know, we have the low side and we have the high side. Where we are standing, we have the 34.5, the RMU, that is the ring main unit. Uh -huh. Okay, so your team consists of, I'm sure there are some women in this. Yes, yeah, there are some this women. Well dominated. You can tell us more. I have my female uh, engineer. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> that's uh, Evelyn. Engineer Evelyn. Now, when we come around, mm. they lose the, they do the boat and not losing. Mm. Then after that, cleaning of the, the unwanted, unwanted particles around the arresters. And after that, I have the engineer uh, Daniel who also will be doing the boating aspect. Mm. Then I and my colleague over here will do the mega ring. Mm. Uh, we check whether it is within the strength of operation. Mm. How tough is your job? <laughs> I know every job is tough. Yeah. How tough is yours? Uh, to say, you know, it involves a lot of energy to strike the boat. It's not easy. It's not easy uh, because you need some kind of, we use the, the, the tug, the tug equipment. This one. This one. Uh -huh. So even though we set it around 45 Newton meter, 45 Newton meter, okay. Uh -huh. Then you just, Press it softly, then to be turning it, uh -huh, turn it, and at times, so if you are not able to set it well, that is where you will cause the, the boat will cause trade. Mm -hmm. So we are very very cautious when we are setting it. So uh -huh. engineer Evelyn can be doing this. Yeah, she can be doing it. Well, I would yeah. love to talk to her because she's in a male-dominated area, and you know females don't really like jobs like this. Yeah. So engineer Evelyn, please, just a quick one. Tell us about your experience in the male-dominated job. Um, to my experience, it's not all that difficult. Okay. Any female out there can do what I'm doing here. Mm. Yeah, so that's the little thing I can mm. say. So, but you have to get the passion. Yeah, you have to get the passion and the courage mm. to motivate yourself to do it. And then what yeah. inspired you to venture into this job? Mm. Actually, I like doing men's work okay. since I was growing up, so, um, and my, the one who motivated me was my father, okay. yeah. I hope the men are not bullying you. Oh, no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. They are all like uh, brothers to me, okay. and they are helping me a lot. Any difficulties, any challenges, yeah. So your advice to young ones who want to venture into this business? Yeah. I would advise them they should have the courage. All you need is the courage to, because right now what 
a man can do, women too, we can do it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dad. Engineering is interesting. Yes, yes. So what should we do about... Yeah, so we, uh, we, uh, we encourage more youth to come into engineering. You know, when you have the skill of learning engineering, like the, uh, now we are into renewable energy. So when you come, when, even when you see the panels lined and uh, how it's been, uh, power is being generated, you will feel proud of it. You, so that's why I'm encouraging the youth to get involved in engineering. Yeah, but I want to understand your work. How does it work, like getting all the panels? How is the power generator collected before it gets to this, for you to do the maintenance? You should explain that to us. Yeah, since we are in the renewable energy sector, okay. solar energy then means we are talking about the solar radiation, mm -hmm. uh, heating on the solar panels. Okay. So when you turn around, you can see the solar panels around. Mm -hmm. The panels, we have the 385, Watts, we have the 410 watts. Uh, then from there, the radiation as it hits the solar panels, mm -hmm. yeah, the energy is being uh, converted into the invector. Okay. The invector convert DC to AC. So we have the invector over there. Then from there, uh, before it comes, we have the hydro. Mm -hmm. The hydro comes in with the power to pull it. That's the reactive power. Okay. Ahead, it comes down. So from here you can see. Let, let us look at something by. This is a bus bar. So from this gen one ten, the cable coming down. That's the underground cable to the pool, the transmission network. Okay. Uh -huh. So it comes here, goes through these breakers, then goes back to the invector. Then it pulls. We have something that we call tie. It tight or synchronize. Mm. So when it tight the DC, then it pulls the DC or the DC also pushes it. Then it comes back through the breaker. That's the low side. We have the low side of the transformer, which is 800 volts. Okay. Uh -huh. So we have 32 inverters coming into the low side of the transformer with 800 volts. Mm -hmm. Then from there, the transformer step it up to 34.5 kilovolt. Mm -hmm. That's 3,450. Then it goes through the transmission network to the control room. Mm -hmm. Then from control room, we have the switch gears over there. Then it also moves to the switch yard, BPA switch yard, where it is being connected to the grid. Great cool uh, national grid. Mm. So for our viewers that do not understand the terms you use, the DC, the AC. Yeah, the, 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 the panels <laughs> generate by means of DC. We call okay. it DC voltage, DC current, DC power. So that's technical. That's term. a technical okay. term. Uh -huh. okay. That's a technical term. That's when you talk of DC. That's the, the, the direct current. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. DC direct current. That's a car battery. DC mm -hmm. DC voltage. Uh -huh. And the AC is what? AC is the, that's the alternate current. Okay. Uh -huh. mm. At least we've learned something yeah. today. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So after all is done, then straight to the national grid. To the national grid, grid yeah. Okay. How often do you do the maintenance? Twice in a year. Okay. Every six months we do the maintenance. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. Then we have a routine check. Mm -hmm. The routine check, when we come, we make sure to check whether the, the voltage indicator like this one, when it is working, it's like to be blinking. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. It goes around, we have the other breakers around. If you want, we can go around and I'll show you sure, the low side. Mm -hmm. So these are the breakers. These are the cables coming from the inverters. Okay. The underground cables. That's the red, yellow, green. Red, yellow, green. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. They are in phases. Red face, yellow face, green face. Okay. Uh -huh. So they come in through the breaker. Now the breaker is off. Why is it off? Because we are doing the maintenance, okay. uh, uh, just for protection so you and safety. Use light out. Uh -huh, lighthouse. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. So this one is coming from Invector Five, Invector Six, Invector Seven, Invector Eight, Invector Nine. Mm. Then from here, that it comes in with 800 volts. Okay. Then from the 800 volts, when we energize the breaker, it means owning the breaker, it comes the the outgoing breaker to the transformer. Okay. So from here we have the 800 volts, mm. but we have 2.5 amps. Then from here, we come to the transformer. This is the transformer. Come, come. 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 Uh, this is the transformer. Okay. Mm, come here. So this is it's, it's, it's a step-up transformer. Okay. It's also known as a tertiary transformer. It's, it's, that's solar transformer, three-phase power transformer. Mm -hmm. So the input voltage is 
800 volts, then the output voltage is 34.5 kilovolts. You understand? So when the, uh, the voltage comes in 800, it steps up. Then it goes through the, the, the outdoor, that's the relay unit, 30, uh, 34.5 to the transmission network. Then it goes straight to the control room. Then in the control room, they can monitor all the activities that goes on over here. In case you want to off the transformer, you can off it remote from the con uh, Then we can also come here and off it manually. See? Okay. Uh -huh. When you come here, you can see the, the mm. panels, the breakers, yeah. the, the, the switches along. You can off it manually. Mm. Uh -huh. So how many megawatts of power do this renewable energy contribute to the national grid? This renewable energy, yes. that's almost uh, 50 megawatts. Megawatt. Yes, 50 okay. megawatts. Uh, 50 megawatts. That's the that's the land. On land. On land. The solar. The solar. Land. Then with the, the, the water, the floating, plus five. It's also coming up with five, so making 55. Okay. Uh, we're scaling up. Uh, we, okay, you know, actually, we have this 50. We are the 100 is ongoing, okay. so making 150. Mm -hmm. Then the five floating, we also have about 30 megawatts to it. Then we have other branches, which is coming up to 50, 50. Yeah, but around this area, we have 250 megawatts. Okay. That's our target. Okay. Mm. So how do we check on the solar panels, whether or not they are working properly? Oh, OK. You if, you if you want to check, we can go there to the, from the invectors. Yeah. Then we can also monitor it from the control room. Yeah. You see, from the control room, we can do the checking over there. Mm. Then when we come to the filter, we can do the same thing over here. So yeah. if you want to, I can take you Yeah, around. sure, we can go oh, okay. have a look at it. Everyone needs the perfect snack to munch on during a fun moment. Wow. Enjoy the tasty McBerry Twist Cupcakes, wow. deliciously baked and packaged for a sweet treat. Mm. Premium quality cakes baked with love for all, enriched in butter and milk. Mm, yummy. Oh, McBerry Twist Cupcakes. Simply irresistible. Try one today. This advert is FDA approved. So these are the solar panels. Mm. They are connected on uh, power stratus. And the strata is known as uh, sub-arrays. We call it sub-arrays. Each sub-array, sub-array, sub-array contains 60 panels. Oh, sub-array. Yeah, sub-array. Sub yeah, <laughs> sub-array. So okay. sub-array. Uh -huh. okay. So... Mm. The sub array, mm. you see, that's the whole structure unit. Mm. It contains 60 panels. We have 30 up, 30 down. So one, two. You see, and it can goes, I touch it? You can touch it. Okay. Uh -huh. Then from here, we have what we call strings. The cable mm. are known as strings. Okay. You see, we call it strings. So mm. we identify them by strings. Okay. So this one is four strings. Four so strings. Yes. I'm seeing only two. Yeah, you are seeing only two. <laughs> so the two will come from the other end. You see, there's okay. another one. Okay. Okay. So this is the first two, first two. then hmm. it picks, that's the first 30, okay. then another 30 from here. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's being connected. Yeah. Then it comes to the invector. Okay. Then with the invector, we have 18 strings, mm. meaning 18 cables entering positive and negative, 18 okay. positive, 18 negative, mm. uh -huh. entering into the invector to give us 800 volts. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, the, this one is uh, 800 to 1,500 DC voltage, that's the DC voltage, mm -hmm. the rating, the voltage rating. Then we have the, the power is 185, mm. uh -huh. the power rating on it. Then it will now convert to the AC now that we learned earlier. Yes. Okay. So from there it goes to the transformer. Mm. Then we know our routine check. In case you want to check whether any panel is not working, mm -hmm. we have a software that you operate with. Oh, you've nah. gone digital. <laughs> nah. So you just operate it, then you check. You assess everything, then you know that this panel is not working, this panel is not working. Then when you come here, we have the nomenclature of every this thing, the cable. We have the mm. nomenclature. You can see that we have the IV9. Yeah. And then the mm. A4+, four. Plus, mm -hmm. meaning Invector 9. This is Invector 9. Okay. So there's string 4. So we create a string four. Okay. Uh -huh. So we have one, two, three. Uh -huh. So the one that is not coming from there, uh, it will, by digital, we'll see it on the phone. Mm. Then we we'll go towards that direction and we okay. work on it. So households that want to have maybe solar panels in their homes, you advise to them? Yeah, yeah, it's very, very easy. Though the, the cost in 
acquiring is very expensive, but on a long, uh, on a long range, it's very, very cheaper. Mm. Uh, installation cost is higher, but as soon as you have acquired it, as well, mm. uh, maintain, maintenance is very, very less. The cost of maintenance is very less. Okay. So I advise if they can, they should, everybody should have solar panels in their home. So that as backup or as backup, full? Yeah, so, as backup okay. or full. You can go full if only you have the means. Okay. Mm. Mm. Okay, so I've been talking to Maxwell Obey Amoa, the site engineer here at the Bui Power Authority. And he's advised if you have the means, get solar in your homes at the long term or in the long term, it will be of a good use and it will save you some money as well. For Best Tech on Ghana Web TV, my name is Ernestina Sewa Asante.